Hello friends, welcome. Now let's start and work the, with Alpine.js. I'm going to use the Laravel. I'm going to create a Laravel project to work with that. But also if you don't want to work with Laravel project, you can uh, work with Alpine.js just by adding this inside the head in the HTML. So this script with the CDN for Alpine.js or if you want you can install the module by saying npm install Alpine.js and then in the JS file you can import Alpine call the window Alpine people with Alpine and say Alpine start now here we have the uh, window Alpine people with Alpine bit is optional but it's nice to have for freedom and flexibility okay so let's start and work with uh, Laravel now, so let's say I have installed the Laravel installer, I'm going to say Laravel new and let's say just Alpine tutorial. Okay, it's going to create a new Laravel project. Now, if you want to install, if you install the Laravel Breeze package, which is for authentication, it's going to automatically install comp with uh, Alpine.js installed. So you don't need to install there. Also, it's going to install the Tailwind CSS, but I'm going to show you how we can do it uh, ourselves. So let's navigate in the Alpine tutorial. Good. And then I'm going to open this project with a VS Code. Very good. We use with uh, Laravel, we use Vite here, as you can see. And here we have the plugin Laravel. We added the resources CSS app CSS and the resources JS app JS. And let's close this. Now let's install the Alpine JS. So let's say npm install, paste that in, hit enter. Then we need to import that. So let's copy and in the Laravel we have resources JS and here we have the app JS and inside here we need to paste the code. So import Alpine and say Alpine start. Save, close this one. And then because we use the Vit, we are going to add Vit inside the head and resource JS app JS. I'm not going to add also the app CSS because the Tailwind CSS I'm going to add uh, through CDN. So let's navigate in the views. We have only the welcome. So let's remove also the styles here. And I'm going to paste that in. So with resources JS app JS. If I save and let's remove everything from this. Okay. Now we need to run the npm run dev because we use it. So if I go and open that project, which is alpine dot dash tutorial dot test. Yeah, we need to run the npm run dev as you can see here. So let's say npm run dev and now if I refresh yeah we have a blank page so let's go and open also the title in CSS because I want to have some styles and let's get started and I'm going to use the CDN for the Alpine for the title in CSS so let's copy this and paste inside the inside here save very good Let's close this now and let's start and work with the Alpine JS. And we are going to work with the X data first. So the Alpine JS data is a key concept in Alpine JS that allow you to define and manage reactive data within your application. Reactive data is data that changes over time based on user interactions or other events. Uh, if you have used the Vue.js, 
in Vue.js so with the options API, we have, we define the data method and return an object with the key value pairs. In Alpine.js, the data is defined using the X data directive, which is used to define the JavaScript object, the specific HTML element, and the objects contain a key value pairs representing the data that you want to manage. So let's create here a div and let's say x data, which is going to be equal with double quotes. And inside we add an object. So JavaScript objects are always within some code braces and then we have the key and the value. Now the value can be a string, a boolean, array or another object. Now inside this div, Let's close this first and let's say I'm going to add some classes because for that we added tiny CSS. Let's say to be BG green 400 and I'm going to add margin of 4 and padding of 4 and also I'm going to say rounded. And here let's define a data. Let's I'm going to add a property name and the value is going to be a string in single quotes and I'm going to say uh, John Doe OK and now how we can uh, display the name in or inside the div in Vue.js we can say in the double cold braces but with uh, Alpine.js, let's say I want to display in the span. It's not going to work if I say just name like this. And also let's add here because we are inside the Laravel and let's go and refresh. Yeah, we have an error. But we can display the name with another directive. So inside this span, I'm going to say x text text like this equal with double quotes and inside we put the name okay so let's say name here and now if i save and come here we have the name and let's zoom it for you so here is the john doe now if i add another div down there div with a class, I'm going to change the class to be bg, let's say uh, slate 200 and the same thing, it's going to be a margin for padding for around it and inside now, let's say I want to display also here the x text name, if I save yeah, we have here another div, but it's empty. And that's it because the X data will only uh, can access this X data inside this scope when we add the X data. So only inside the scope here. So let's, this is the parent div and inside the parent we can use the data and not in this uh, div. Okay, so in this code we're using the X data directive to bind an object containing the name property with a value of uh, John Doe dot this div element and we are then using the name property here to the with X text directive to display that and uh, let's create another x data to this div let's say x data to be equal with double quotes and here we add an object and let's say message which is going to be let's say a uh, hello world and now let's display the hello world in this span if i save and come here yeah here we have the hello world 
but if we want to access the to have the data also to this one we can create let's cut this and we can add directly in the body let's save and come here everything works and let's also display the name inside here so copy and paste to this one now it's going to work as you can see and let's add a break here so you can see here we have the hello world and john doe also we can put them in the another div and inside then remove the x data to this div and because now this div is inside this scope div we can access that data again okay i hope you understand now how we can uh, define the x data and how we can use so we can use that data only in this scope make sure you understand that and if you like like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i hope you enjoy and all the best and thank you very much